Yeah, what's up guys? You are welcome back to another yet another amazing episode of our weekly market analysis where we come in on the chart and look at potential trading opportunities for the week to come. If you love the content, make sure you click on the hit the like button so that this gets to as many people as possible on YouTube and also make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you help this channel grow and get to 10k subscribers so let's get right into the content and in this week we'll be talking about bitcoin ethereum and few other crypto assets that i'll be looking at in this week and we'll be analyzing the price action of this asset and we'll be looking at potential opportunities to pick up a trade or to pick a trade on this assets or this peers for the week so as you know we, all, we always start with bitcoin and you know Bitcoin is the biggest boy in the market and it is the most important crypto we have in the crypto market. So, you know, we always start out with Bitcoin and from Bitcoin, we go to Ethereum and look at some other cryptos that we can trade for the week. So, last week, I, I explained some things on crypto, on Bitcoin, even though I might be looking at another perspective and, you know, when it comes to analyzing the market, we i usually don't look at the markets uh in just one way or using just one approach i look at different approach i look at different time frames to be able to uh get the exact thing the market is trying to do and you know when you come to technical analysis technical analysis is pretty much of trying to analyze the market using price past action looking at the things that have happened in the in the past and using it to analyze the market so that is what technical analysis is always about and you know i'm a price action trader and i trade a bit of the smart money concept too so let's get right into it if you look at bitcoin you see that bitcoin has been an uptrend so far this year we made a high higher low higher high higher low and we are trying to make a higher high but then the market is stuck at this resistance you know this is the weekly time frame and this is the resistance on this weekly time frame the market is stuck at this resistance and you can see the market has hit that resistance three times let's let's see the market has hit that resistance three times first time second time third time so there is high probability of the market uh topping out for the year I said that last week too that there is a high probability of the fact of that the market might have topped out for the year and the market might be looking for a way to reverse back and give a collection and also give us more opportunities to buy before the next bull market. Or maybe hopefully the market is going to break out this resistance and will be targeting uh a buy at around 42k to 45k, which is uh other blog bearish other blog that formed on this chart so if the market can break this resistance then we are rest assured that the market is going still going to pump more before we have a correction but if not then the market is going to collapse that is the same thing i said last week and it's still my overall uh bias about the market on the long term basis and you know one of the things i do about bitcoin is that i look at what the bitcoin is trying to portray for long term trades before i look at the trades we'll be taking for the week so now let's go to what we would likely be doing for this week you see that bitcoin has been stuck in this range since 20 when was this this is a daily time frame and bitcoin has been stuck here since when since around 21st of june since now that is a few weeks that is close to three weeks bitcoin has been moving from this place from 29k to somewhere around 31k got rejected come back to this support at 29.7 then moved up and you know when bitcoin is stuck in a range like this it's stuck between a support level and a resistance level and don't forget, don't forget, this resistance is a very strong one. And it is the only thing that is holding Bitcoin from going to 40 something K. Yes, this is the only resistance that's holding Bitcoin from going up. And you can see that this, 
there is a test of this resistance around here even though you know the market doesn't get to the resistance exactly but you know resistance is always about an area on your chart not an exact line so the market came to this area of resistance in april got rejected came back uh june 22 got rejected came back again june June 30, got rejected, came back again, got rejected, came back again, got rejected. So telling you that's a very strong area of value on your chart. But the moment this area gets broken, then be rest assured that the market is going to rally up and we might be looking at 37k and then from 37k, we might go to 42 and 47k. So that's for long term. But for short term, let's look at the daily, let's look at the 4 hour. So last week I said I would, what, I, what the, thing, the only thing I will be trading on Bitcoin is the bounce and rejection. On the, that means whenever the price, whenever price comes from this place to this support, I long, then I short again at the resistance, then long again at support, short at resistance. So short and resistance, then. So, short at resistance from here, long again at support. That That is what I've been doing since last week, since the market has been stuck in this range. And I was longing Bitcoin somewhere around Wednesday. Where was Wednesday? Uh, last week, Wednesday, I was longing Bitcoin. Yes, yeah, this is somewhere around here. From this place, even though that was on a lower time frame, that was more of a scalp trade. Yes, longing somewhere around uh, here. So, good. Let's look at uh, Saturday, 8th of July. Yes, somewhere around here. Good. Thursday, I was I was taking it long, somewhere around here, and I was I was targeting this place. I was targeting this area of value, and you know why I was doing this? Because I was trying to scalp the market, and you know, when the market is in a range. If you are not a very experienced trader, you might find it difficult to trade the lower time frame. And the reason why I was trading this was because I saw a very long rejection candle. Something like a, a tweezer bottom. Yes, something like a tweezer bottom like this. And I was trying to long, but it, the market didn't get to my target, which is something of 5 ratio, 1 ratio, 5 trade. It didn't get to my target. And at this place, the market gave me something like a, an evening star, telling me the market is about to reverse so i i got out of the market somewhere around here and i've been watching bitcoin since then so so far i've not really seen something a, a, a an opportunity to trade on bitcoin so far since that thursday friday i've been watching bitcoin closely and i've not seen an opportunity to short bitcoin so probably probably if bitcoin because we are still stuck in this range if Bitcoin break out of this range and give us something like this, uh, yes, if Bitcoin gives me something like this, I'm going to be shorting Bitcoin and I'll be targeting this place. And that will be on a lower time frame actually. Yeah, somewhere around here. That will be on a lower time frame. Let's look at what's what that's going to give us if that plays out that's going to be my best scenario for shorting bitcoin this week that'll be my best scenario for shorting bitcoin this week my stop loss would be somewhere around here if this plays out and my target would be somewhere around this area of value so it's going to be one ratio three trade that's going to be my scenario for shorting bitcoin because I wouldn't want to be shorting at the support. Yes, if Bitcoin come to this support, I wouldn't want to be shorting unless we have a breakout. Even though 
if you look at the lower time frame we would see that there is still a an area of support here on the lower time frame but then this support that i drew on the daily time frame prevails and it might affect the market so i'm looking to short bitcoin if there is if the market comes here retest this area and give me a signal to short and also i might be taking a long also if the market fails to break that area and you know what i was doing is trading the bounce let me get back to okay i'm back on the low and for hard time frame so if the market comes back to this area if the market come back to this area and give a bullish sign i might be longing again and i'll be targeting this place i'll be targeting this place that's going to be giving me a very good risk to reward trade trading from this place is going to give me a very good risk to reward trade because i'll be trading here and my stop loss would be somewhere around here but if you are trading because this is this, these are two potential trading opportunities for the week but if you are trading if you are trading this take cognizance of the fact that there are a lot of liquidity below this area this play, there is a lot of liquidity below this area because a lot of buyers have been coming in around here longing the market so market might just come and clear the liquidity first before longing if the market is going to longer so that is why i usually like try and wait for a lot of confirmation before i enter my trade market might do something like this market might just come here clear the liquidity oh sorry that's that's uh oh so market might just do something like this let me get rid of this let me get of get rid of this right good so market might just do something like this market might come here market might come like this clear some liquidity and reverse back do something like this and then long so you have to you have to understand the fact that sorry you have to understand the fact that when when market moves when a lot of buyers are buying the market from a support there will be a lot of liquidity below the support and what, what do we mean by liquidity liquidity is simply areas where there are a lot of pending orders there are a lot of people a lot of people are longing the market from this place from this place from this place they put their stop loss somewhere below this area somewhere around here is where there are a lot of stop loss so market might just come clear all the stop losses and long so that would be my scenario for long looking for a scenario where market is going to come here when you come here i'll be more patient and see if the market is going to clear the liquidity and reverse then i'll be buying around here or if the market will just come clear the liquidity and yes activate the buy side liquidity and start shorting so those are my two scenarios for longing or shorting bitcoin for the week that is just basically what i'll be liking to trade from for this week so if i can catch any of this trade it's going to give me something around one ratio three uh risk to reward trade and it's going to it's, it's not bad one ratio three is not bad for a day trader actually so that is my scenario for longing or shorting bitcoin for this week if you if you are able to pick that trade, do well by coming back to this video and making a comment and telling me if you are able to pick that trade during the week. And also, if you are getting value from this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and also comment below and telling me you are enjoying this video. It means a lot to me. Comment below and let me know if you are enjoying this video. So let's go to Ethereum. All right, so this is Ethereum. This is Ethereum. And like I was saying on Bitcoin, Ethereum is also at a very critical support level. It's also at a very critical support level. And it is it formed a double bottom on this four hour. 
And you know when it comes to all these chart patterns, chart patterns do not always play out. But then how do you know if this chart pattern is going to play out? If this, we might be trading this double bottom for the week. And this is how we do it. We look for a scenario whereby there will be a breakout of this neckline. We'll be looking for a breakout of this neckline and a retest for a buy. But then the problem with this kind of setup is that I'm not writing this setup up and I'm not writing off this actually. But the problem with this kind of setup is the fact that this is not going to give us a high probability trade and is it is going to expose us to a lot of risk. And this is why. So let's say you are buying Ethereum at this point. For example, let's say you are buying at this point and your stop loss would be here. Your target would be the next area of value, which is going to be here. This is one ratio, two risk to reward. And I personally don't really like taking one ratio to trade that much, especially on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And also, another thing is that market might just come and hit our stop loss very easily. The reason being that this is not really an area of resistance. It is just a neckline. You get it is just a neckline for the double bottom form. So I would prefer to, to let Bitcoin Ethereum rather come. Sorry. I would prefer if Ethereum comes back to this area and give me a bullish engulfing counter or any bullish sign and I'll be targeting somewhere around here. So this is going to give me a high probability trade compared to what I analyzed first. So if you look at this, if Ethereum comes back to this and I get my entry, put my stop loss somewhere around here, put my target here, that's going to be one ratio 4.7 trade. Perfect. This is the kind of trade I want to be taking. Not just one ratio two, even though sometimes I take one ratio two, but I prefer something like this. This is if the market come back to this place and hold, it's going to be a triple top, a triple bottom, rather. And you know, when it comes to chart patterns, triple top, triple bottom, or triple top hold more than triple double bottom or double top because it's telling us that the market comes to this area. Pushed, was pushed back, come back again, was pushed back, and come back again. The third time, if it holds, it, there is a probability of it giving us a high risk to reward trade. But if there is a, if the market does not hold, if this support does not hold and come down, then I'll be doing my second opinion about Bitcoin, which is like a short trade. You understand? And also, if the market come back to this place, watch out for liquidity because this is an area of liquidity and the market might just read some liquidity before buying. So that is my bias on Ethereum for the week. So during the week, we'll be watching out for a scenario where Ethereum is going to come back to this support and I'll be buying. Or maybe break this neckline and I'll be buying the breakout of that neckline, which is going to be a low probability trade, but then it might play out. You never can tell what the market is going to do next. So that is that is going to be my scenario for buying Ethereum for the week. So let's look at uh, let's look at Solana. Let's look at Solana. Let me just get Solana on my watch list. So USDT perpetual contract. Right? Uh good let's look at solana let's look at solana and see if solana can give us something even though i was looking for a shot on solana yes i was looking for a shot on solana and this is it this is it this is it yeah solana is at a previous other block if you don't understand what other block means, just make sure you get my course where I teach how to trade crypto and how to do technical analysis of whether you are trading crypto or forex. This is, a, this is an other block. This is a previous other block on Solana. This particular place is an other block. This is a bearish other block on Solana. And 
Solana has come back to test that other block. After how long? This other block was formed in June, on the 5th of June. Solana has come back to test this other block. And from the candlestick formation I'm seeing on this chart, it's pretty much telling me that this market is about to collapse again. This Solana market is about to collapse again. So my uh, my uh, bias on Ethereum, on Solana rather, is short. It's a very strong bias. It's a very short, a very strong short bias. So I'm looking at a scenario where I would have something like this, and market is going to collapse down to uh, this area. This area. So somewhere around here. And if the market does not come back, I might just join the short somewhere around this area of value. So let me just get rid of let me get rid of this. So I might look for a way where the market will come back here and short, or just wait and let the market break this box. And I'm going to short. That's going to give me a very good high risk to a very high risk to reward ratio. So imagine shorting Solana from this place and having your final target from this place even though this is going to take a lot of time it is going to take a long time for it to play out so this is just a trade signal that's going to take a long time to play out but it's it's going to be worth it if you can be patient to take this kind of trade this is a 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio but if the market comes back to this area of value so let's look at a scenario where the market is going to come back to this place and I'll be taking the shot from this place and I'll be targeting this place. It's going to be a very high risk. It's going to be a very tight stop loss. Yes, because of this other block. And it's going to be 8.41. One ratio, 8.41 uh, risk to reward ratio trade. So let me just have this screenshot. I'm going to wait for the market to come back to that place and take the trade and wait for a few days or a few weeks for this market to for this trade to play out and if it plays out i might even adjust yes this previous bullish other block might just be my yes my target yes this previous bullish other block might be my target and i'll be taking that definitely you know this is a game of probability anything can happen actually but i think it is i believe it is a high probability trade and it is very likely on a high side to play out so that is you know i usually don't analyze uh solana i just stick with bitcoin ethereum and a few coins like other words i saw that i spotted that on solana chat and i feel it's going to benefit you guys watching so make sure you subscribe you know i'm i'm giving it out this value for free so make sure you help this channel by also subscribing and hitting the like button so this is Let's look at uh, ADA USDT. This is also stuck in a range somewhere around here. ADA is stuck in a range somewhere around here. Yeah. So I might just be looking for a, a scalp buy on ADA for the week. It's going to be a scalp buy. If the market comes to this area, I will buy in again. But a lot of liquidity rests at this place so it's, it's kind of risky so i would i would prefer if i take my buy again at this place because this is a place more of an other block that initiated a strong buy but if you are if you are something like if you are a scalp trader you know it might take a long time before this market comes down to this place if you are a scalp trader you might be looking for a buy at this place too well it's going to be a risky trade so Watch out for liquidity and work, don't don't be don't fall trap of the institutional traders trying to like raise some liquidity before the market buys. So that is just a brief one on other. That's a brief one. And if that if that does not play out, I have another opinion on other, and that is a scenario where this is market will come back and give you a good chance to short and come back here. So it is a two waiting. Either the market comes here and give me a long, or it comes down and give a short. So any one of it that 
plays out, it's going to be a very good trade for you to take for the week. So let's quickly look at this video is getting on. Let's quickly look at uh, let's look at uh, Litecoin. Let's look at Litecoin. So so far we've we've spoken about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and now we'll talk about Litecoin. Ada and also we'll talk about Litecoin now. So let's look at Litecoin. Let's look at Litecoin. Litecoin is on this four hour is at the support. Is at the support. Is at the support. So my bias on Litecoin because it's at the, an area of support is a buy. Yes, my bias on Litecoin is a buy, and that would be if this support holds. Let me look at what Litecoin is saying on the weekly. The weekly, which is going to close today, is bearish. Is bearish, but that is not enough. That's not enough to determine, uh, to determine the what I'll be doing on other for the week. So it's actually bearish. The market is bearish on other. And I would not be like to be trading against the trend, but this market is at the support. So I still believe that this market is likely going to give a high probability trade buying than shorting because it is already at a support level. So if this support holds and it gives the market gives me a bullish engulfing or a hammer or something like that, even though a hammer is a hammer formed on the four hour time frame, but that's not enough reason. Or it's not enough criteria for me to long already. But then, if that holds and it gives an other block, it's going to be a good buy. And to be riding the market back up to around $107, $105, and even more. But if the if the area does not hold, then it's going to be a free fall. It's going to be a free fall. And other might be falling back to $80 something. So that's my uh bias on litecoin rather on litecoin for the week so if you got value from this video make sure you hit the like button it's very important and also you subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you next week if you want to learn how to trade the financial market the crypto whether crypto or forex for by like a professional there is a link in the description below where i have my course which costs hundred dollars just hundred dollars for you to learn how the market works you can just get the course and also be a part of my community you, once you get the course you have access to my community where all my students over 150 of my students who have taken the course are we share trade ideas we do a lot of stuff and you get massive value from that so make sure you hit that uh, that button if you want to get the course you see it somewhere around this video or somewhere in the description box and become a part of the student of the tennis Crypto Consumer Mastermind. I'll see you next week.